Greetings and salutations. My name is Bradley. I'm a trainer here with Off Leash Canine. What I would like to do is take a quick moment to walk you through the e-collar that you'll be using in your training experience, whether you've chosen the board and train program or you have chosen our lesson program. The e-collar is an integral part of your training experience. The one that we'll be going over today is going to be the 300 series. If you're using a different series, such as the micro, or you're using the 1200, this video may still be beneficial to you in some capacity. However, the small details and differences do vary between the units, so please partner with your instructor so that way you and them can work together to master the equipment in front of you. So let's go ahead and begin. Upon opening the hard case, we're going to be met with a lot of information. And the first thing that we're gonna be seeing is going to be the instruction manual. The instruction manual is going to bring you through all the technical aspects that we will be going over in this video. Remember, this video is meant to be a brief overview on the functionality, buttons, and how it turns on and off, not for training tips. Please refer to your trainer directly based off of the training plan that you currently have with them to go over its function and how it works with your furry friend. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and turn over the, the actual manual itself and I'm gonna introduce you to the e-collars technology information. The information here is going to be as follows. We have the phone numbers, the address for shipping if necessary, ecollar.com website, customer service email, and so on and so forth. You do have a two year limited warranty. If you are noticing that you are having mechanical problems, malfunctions or defects, please reach out to the company directly and they will assist you. If you're unsure, you can always reach out to your trainer for guidance. If I were to take the manual and move it out of the way, you're going to be met with a lot of different devices and equipment. But don't fret about it. We're going to walk through it piece by piece. And we are going to actually start with the e-collar itself. The e-collar comes with a biothane collar. This collar is intended to be very dirt resistant and waterproof in all situations. You do have the ability to cut the fit and it will not fray. The e-collar works as follows. Once powered on, a signal sent from the remote into the e-collar will create a small stimulation through these two points. To give an example, if I were to press it, it may make my middle finger here twitch. The contact points do contain nickel. If your dog has a nickel allergy, notify your trainer immediately, as there are accessories that have no nickel that can prevent things such as rashes, pimples, or unsightly loss of hair if the dog has a nickel allergy. It is very uncommon and rare, but it's still something I want to stress. So keep an eye on your dog and the points in which the points rest just to ensure there is no nickel allergy or issues. If you suspect one, talk to your trainer immediately and we will replace the contact points and help you find a unit that will fit your dog and his needs accordingly. To go through the unit in a little bit more detail, there's a small flap on the underside of it. As long as this flap is in, this unit is going to be very resistant to water, as well as dirt. My dog likes to roll around in the dirt. I definitely don't want to clean that out of the charging port. So always keep this in. You have a small LED screen that's going to give you a small amount of light, and I will demonstrate that here in a moment. If I were to take the remote, and without going over the remote in its entirety, I just want to show you how to turn on the unit. By turning the device, you'll notice that there is a red point on the side. There's a red point on the remote as well. These are magnetic. By taking the two points and pressing them together, you will notice that there will be a flashing light here. A green light means that it is well charged. A yellow light means that it's about medium battery life, and red means it's low. If you treat it like your cell phone and you charge it every single day or charge it when it's on yellow, you'll always have the power needed to work with your dog, whether it be off leash or in obedient situations as necessary. The remote, which is fashioned off of an old school stopwatch, will function as follows. You have the front face 
as well as the antenna. The antenna allows it to function this particular model at three-fourths a mile, as long as there's not a whole lot of stuff in between it. To give an example would be like a forest. The more trees between it, the less distance you'll get. Or if you are in an urban environment and you have a giant skyscraper between you and your dog, that will reduce the range. To turn on the unit, on the back, you will have an L. This is because this particular button functions not only as the on and off, but as well as the additional light function that I'll demonstrate in a moment. To turn on the unit, you will press this L and hold it for a second, and then the unit will turn on. You will notice the same flashing lights at the base underneath the off-leash canine logo. You will be met with a 1D, an M, a C, and a number. That number will change based off of the dial and its position. This unit goes up to 100. In the case of this demonstration and putting it on a 2, this means that this is 2% of the maximum power that is sent when I press this black S button. By tapping the button, you'll see a red light that will, that will let you know that there's a signal being sent and received. If the light is not on and you are still holding the button, it is not sending a signal. But if I were to change that to the red and continuous, there would be a continuous signal sent. This is the default settings, and that is what the M and C stand for. M is momentary. Pressing it, you'll get one little signal. C is continuous, which means holding it will send a signal continuously. Depending on your trainer, as well as the needs of your dog will depend on those settings. To learn more about that setting and its functionality, talk to your trainer directly. On the other side, you have a T. This is our test button. By pressing it, it will create a small vibration in the unit to let you know signals sent or received. This is really beneficial if you have multiple units and dogs, or if you are using it just to know that the unit is turned on. The same button that turns it on and off will also activate what we like to call the headlamp. If I turn it around here, just so I don't blind you, tapping it once will make it strobe and pressing it again will make it solid. Use of this light will dramatically reduce the battery expectancy per charge. Upon plugging in the unit, both of these will turn off automatically. But if you wish to turn it off, you can always repeat the steps that I demonstrated earlier. Red light, or excuse me, red magnet to red magnet, and then holding the power button on the back. Taking the unit out of the box and putting it to the side, as that is the base and functionality of the 300 unit, you are gonna be met with a lot of other things, starting with the e-collar charger. The e-collar charger has two points, so you can plug into both devices simultaneously a very handy quality of life. A lanyard that you can clip onto the remote so that way you can carry it around your neck or in your pocket. You will also be met with additional tools. This accessory bag will have a little unlocking thing for the cover of the remote, a screwdriver to change the points, and a little fuse that you can put onto two points to see if it's working as intended. Reminder, if you are feeling that your unit isn't working as intended, please call eCollar Technologies and talk to your trainer about your concerns, so that way we can ensure functionality is as intended. In every box, you do come with a set of replacement points, and depending on the points that are installed, whether it be long hair or short hair, is just the length of these two points. This also contains nickel. The replacement set will have the nickel inside of it as well. If you are concerned about nickel or nickel-related allergies, talk to your trainer directly about getting different contact points or even different contact pads based off of the need of your dog. This is a very generalized overview. There's a lot more information that can go with this, and that is to be gone over with your trainer directly. I hope that this video was enough to get you to understand the basic functions, whether it be turning it on, adjusting the intensity, as well as each of the buttons on the sides. Based off of the mode, some of these buttons will change functionality, so it is important that you understand this 
from the point of view of your trainer. We here at Off Leash Canine welcome you to our family and we're excited to work with you and train you all the way through. Thank you for taking roughly 10 minutes to hang around with me as I walk you through each and every one of these elements and I hope you, your furry friend, have a wonderful day and may your bond with your dog be entirely unleashed. Have a good one.